Hello, everybody. Hey, Kelly. So let's start. Yesterday, you gave a great overview of you know the what what's the coronavirus doing now. Now the president just gave an address. Talk about what the market did, the reaction, and then again, I like to kind of leave with what do we do now. All right. Thanks everybody for, uh, again, yesterday's uh, conversation that we had um, is something that, believe it or not, I actually used to do. I, I never added this yesterday. Um, many years ago, I was on a trading floor and periodically the news would come in on big events and sometimes they would speak to people on the floor. And uh, if anybody remembers 35 years ago or something, uh, you might have seen me on TV then. But ha, it's, um, I'm not used to um, uh, being questioned about why the market goes up or down, um, but it was 35 years ago that happened a lot. Yesterday, um, I was mentioning that uh, the market had been down 10%. We all saw it. It was actually a very scary event, and we talked about uh, you know, the coronavirus and, of course, the impact it had and why the market went down. Today, I think, is really interesting because we saw the president's speech was supposed to be at noon, um, or actually 11 o'clock um, uh, Pacific time, but it turned out to be um, later. He actually made that occur late on purpose. He's a very strategic man, Donald Trump. He made it occur because he knew the information would be positive to coincide with the market going into the last hour. And if anybody um, actually saw any of the speech, I think you would have noticed um, if there was anything showing you where the market was as they were speaking, the market moved up uh, 1,500 Dow points from being up 2.5% to being up almost 10% during, um, during that speech. And it was seminal. The speech tells me actually that we probably have seen a bottom. And the reason is, is because what he did for the first time is he showed the United, he showed how he brought together as a leader um, the business and government. He, there was a particular moment when the speech went very well, when the one woman who is the doctor came on and she talked about um, how they are going to allow for testing. For the first time, we see that they are actually doing something to address our fear. So what was so good about that was that, that when you're addressing our fear, that's exactly why the market was down 10% yesterday. It's because we were afraid. Now, they actually addressed it, and they showed how leadership can actually work. Uh, between all of us, I'm not a huge fan of Donald Trump, but this was very presidential in my mind, and I thought that he did an excellent job of showing leadership and bringing in other people. The market rallied as a result, and um, the good news is for the country is that uh, people's portfolios rebounded smartly today. Um, it does mean, as like I said um, yesterday, that I feel that our systems will largely be going back into the market probably Monday. Um, now my only fear is I want to go in cheap. I, I don't want it to open up much higher on Monday. So my instinct is Monday will open higher. Um, our algorithms will start to kick back in, um, avoiding this last 10% move down and up, which is something that we're designed to do. Remember, everybody, the one thing you should know about me is I'm, again, I'm a mathematician. I look at the statistics of the way things are done. And beyond that, I look at how algorithms can artificially determine without having me doing this uh, with my emotions and my beliefs and my interpretations, how math can do the same thing um, is someone that's experienced in the market. And I think I'm pretty experienced, but I can tell you that um, I'm really, I don't think I'm as good as the systems themselves. Algorithms do a better job than I can. And frankly, they do a better job than 95% of the managers out there. Well, and Kelly, don't you think also, 
you know, I told, <clears throat> I told several of our clients who really like to trade, I said, you know, why don't you just look at, you know, the algorithm at flip trade, because you have way, way too many emotions. And I know I can manage my emotions. So what would you say, because I have a handful of, well, more than a handful of clients who are just, you know, wanting to be a hero in their own little portfolio and try to out of motion the market? Well, you know, when you use our, with our software, folks, the idea is that you can pick the stocks if you want to, which is a great way to do it. But the thing you're also picking when you pick a stock is you're actually picking a robot to manage that stock for you. So you're doing kind of two things. You're kind of picking the stocks, and then the robot will do the job after that. And by the way, if you don't know what stocks to pick, um, there's, there's robots out there that you pick the robot by reading about what it does and the robot will pick the stock. So it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. If you're trying to accomplish something that offers dividends and income, there's robots for that. And if you're trying to accomplish growth and you say, hey, this is money that I really just, I just want it to grow as aggressively as possible, there's robots for that. Just like there's managers that will tell you, hey, I'll do it aggressively or conservatively. So that's kind of what's going to happen in the market. Any uh, insight on uh, cryptocurrency? Say that again? I said that's a uh, so good update on the market, right, and where we're going to possibly be you know, moving back into on Monday. What about cryptocurrency? What are you seeing and uh, telling people to do about that? The cryptocurrency market um, failed to um, move higher. Um, I don't, uh, it did come off of its lows, but again, the crypto market right now is in a funk. I think the crypto market will be delayed, uh, move up um, from where we are now after the market recovers. So that being said, if, um, if, if I was a crypto trader, I probably would buy it here because this is an area of support. Um, you, I see two variables out there that I can see that show this is a support area. Uh, we've traded in this area before and each time we've moved higher. So um, we use the way we trade cryptocurrency is through something called the Global Bitcoin Trust. The symbol for it is GBTC, that's George boy Tom Charlie and it's trading right now at six dollars and thirty three cents what's good about it is um, you can open up an account at a broker like ours and you can just buy it and the advantage of it is that um, it's not sitting in a wallet where frankly all those other kinds of wallets are ripping I feel they are not um, giving you a fair price for your coin I think you're paying a huge difference between the bid and the offer uh, at least with this, it's regulated by the government. And so that tells me, um, you know, this is a better proxy. And I like the price at 633. Um, I'm personally long at $9. I'm, <laughs> I'm out. But again, I've, as I mentioned yesterday, I don't have more than 2 to 5%. In my case, I have 5% of my wealth in uh, Bitcoin currency. So what did people do over the weekend? Things are shutting down. The sports world shut down yesterday. Airports are shutting down. Just some kind of common sense advice. Yeah. Look, over the weekend, expect to see more news um, towards how testing is going to occur. I think that when this, as we start to realize that we can be tested, which is the first way we can allay our fears, that we should start to be thinking in the markets you know, things that we can buy. And if I was a buyer in this world right now, I mean, I see, frankly, a ton of bargains. I see Disney at 100. It was at 95 earlier today. I see AT&T is at 34. That's normally, as even yesterday I mentioned that at 31. I was able to buy that today at 32.15. Um, I see that. Um, going to 38, but but that's a lot, right? So from 34 to 38, four dollars, that's 10 percent. And I see that happening within a, couple, a month or two. I like things like that. 
Um, the market, I think pretty much any stock that has been beat up, which is every one of them, is actually a buy right now. And three months later, uh, please everybody remember in the room um, that take a look at those prices. And then uh, three months from now, um, if they're lower, please call me and uh, complain because they won't be. They're going to be higher and they're going to be higher significantly. <coughs> No worries, I understand it's Friday, it's a market recap. I normally don't do these, but the markets have been so volatile lately, um, and Laurel asked me to come on. I wrote a newsletter uh, early this morning, around three in the morning Pacific time. And um, if people would like that, they can ask Laurel for the company email, we'll uh, forward it out so you can see what I was ta thinking about this morning before the open. So um, either way, uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend, and if anybody should have any question, again, if you leave them with Laurel after the fact, I'm sure I'll get back to them, and I'm, I'm pretty good about returning um, questions and emails. Awesome, Kelly. I'm sure we'll be back in touch early week. Appreciate your time as usual, and uh, all your brilliance. Thank you for all your wisdom. All the very best, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Laurel. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye. So what we're doing, just so those who are watching live, um, and just so the rest of you, if you want to share it, because we want to be that place. We're getting a couple other speakers who are saying, you should cancel like the rest of us. We're not a normal event. So, I mean, we're going to be having a meeting, um, just so we are announcing about what we're going to do. Um, our feeling is we, the, the show goes on, this conversation goes on. We don't stop, because all of you are going to need to know what to do. Um, we're in Kelly on a regular basis. Uh, the hotel here is great, <clears throat> willing to work with us. Um, whether we try off the show or keep the show here, but we can also live stream so everybody that wanted to see us in Vegas or Orange County will determine whether um, those go on, but the, uh, let's say the show's going on, or this conversation goes on. And if we don't do it, who's gonna do it? Right, you leave a lot to guessing. I would rather trust one of the best uh, mathematicians and really good guys to walk us through this and to keep pointing to where the opportunities are. Is that you? Yep. This work? Yep. So uh, we'll stay live through, uh, Different recordings we'll do. I'll do interviews. We'll announce.